Hi, I'm Rick Joy, founder of Rick Joy Architects, which is now Studio Rick Joy. Recorded at his home in Tucson. What is your favorite material? Well, I've always uh, been interested in working solely with um, very natural material. And like you can see behind me here, we've got um, sandblasted steel staircase and rammed earth. And I'm standing on a polished concrete floor. Up above me is rough sawn uh, Douglas fir. We've done many projects with that material pilot. It translates into other kinds of materials or other materials. For example, for Princeton train station, Transit Hall and Amangiri Resort. Those are both similar, very similar, heavy mass materials, but they're concrete. And I really like these materials just because they're just so honest uh, and raw. Um, it's tricky to build this way because, you know, I call it the one chance. You put some material in a form and you wait and then you take the form off and that's what you get. And we really don't do any patching unless we really have to. What is your favorite project in your portfolio? Well, that's a tricky question because if I say a particular building, the other clients are gonna be upset. So, you know, I've, of course, the thrill of doing our first public project, Princeton University, the transit hall and market and a restaurant and cafe and a big bike storage area. Um, it was a thrill. Uh, thousands of people a day go through that project, whereas a lot of the houses you know, are empty half of the year. So that's a really great thing. and. Um, and of course, Amangiri was a thrill. First hotel, the only hotel so far, actually. Um, it was a huge success. Is there a location anywhere in the world that you dream of working on? I'd like to work in an extreme cold climate um, like I grew up in, in northern Maine. You know, over the phone I helped a guy build a rammed earth project in the Yukon, but I never went and uh, we haven't talked since. So, But you know, something really outrageous in the really super cold climate like up in Alaska or northern Finland. What inspires you in your work? I get a huge thrill when my client for the house in Taos says, I want to have dinners like in Babette's Feast. And so we made a dining room with no windows and just candlelight and firelight. Um, or, you know, the, the good, the bad, and the ugly on a, uh, houses we're doing in Kabul. Those, those rhythms of arches um, that make that space um, pretty rich. A final thought you wish to share? It reminds me of a, um, an after trip uh, after one of our master classes that we do every summer in Woodstock, Vermont at our, our client's house that we did for them. I always take a trip back up to Maine afterwards and uh, this time we stopped in to see my good friends Michael and Elizabeth. We took a trip over to uh, Brunswick, Maine and went into a museum and we found this beautiful quote on the wall from the artist Richard Pousset d'Arc. We can only teach what we have the courage to be ourselves. The deep and passionate pursuit of a subject is the true path upon which to find technique and discipline if we desire creative, whole human beings. Ends plus means are never separable. Wholeness must be at the beginning if it is to be at the end. In truth, here is no ending. Now is all time. Thank you.